Yeah, today is Maru's first day of school or first day of daycare. I don't know, but you know, it's his first day, okay? Um, he just turned two, like he's a little over two years old, and we just figured that it was the, the, the right time for him. Um, but yeah, I was super super excited. I can't wait to see how it goes. I'm also really really nervous I hope he doesn't cry um, or if he does cry. I hope it doesn't take too long. He forgets about us really quickly <laughs> Because that will make me a little bit more calmer and we're just entering the gates now and we're here mm -hmm. Seems so I, 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 We're late. I think huh? we are very late Here it goes Okay, guys, I'm so nervous. My heart is beating so fast. It's like oh, it's my first day. <sighs> okay, okay, let's do this. Now I know why I never worked out before. I love it would always turn out best, so bad. But every time we start. My name is Ms. Tati D. In case it's your first time here, I make videos here on YouTube on motherhood. I have a two-year-old boy. He just turned two last October. Um, it's January now. Happy New Year, by the way. I think this is the first video that I'm going to be posting in 2022. So happy, happy New Year. I hope it's been great so far. I feel like I look so weird without my glasses. But I feel like when I wear my glasses, you guys, they the weird glare from from the ring light really annoys me so i feel like it's much better without my glasses even though i look like as you can see from the title of the video rue is officially in school i don't know if it's daycare or preschool i don't know what to call it but i think it's daycare mm, i think it's daycare because he just turned two and they don't do much you know two-year-olds don't do much at school they just learn through play um so i'll just say it's daycare while well, well within um the third week of him being in school it's tuesday as i'm filming this so we're so excited he's doing really really well we were so nervous so so nervous um when he first started actually on the first day of school i didn't sleep a wink <laughs> that night i was tossing and turning had so much anxiety so much going on in my head just thinking about how he's gonna have a difficult time adjusting and all that fun stuff because rue is a little bit you know clingy i can be to blame for that a little bit but i don't think it makes me a bad mom that i over love my child and i want to be around him all the time <laughs> It hasn't been easy kind of leaving him with other people and we were really really nervous that he's gonna have a very difficult time just adjusting and You know settling down at school, but that boy did so well you guys he didn't cry He just walked in ran to the swings because they have like a little playground in front of the classes where there's a bunch of toys and a bunch of things to do especially for the little ones um, and he just went in and started playing forgot about us he just like looked back i think once and then he was just like okay they're okay and then went right in and started playing had a good time um by the time we went to pick him up he was knocked out um last week was a bit of a bump though um because he got a little sick and that is to be expected a lot of people are like okay get ready for your child to be a little bit more sick um because he's in daycare now and he's exposed to all kinds of 
germs and bacteria and viruses because he interacts a lot with kids and, um so he's gonna be sick a lot and everybody reassured me though and they're like okay it's fine he's gonna be sick in the beginning but it's fine it's, it's good for him to build his immune system um but he 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 recovered very quickly i think he missed he missed school um, two days out of the week and went three. So the reason why we we decided to take him to school, he just turned two, and then we just thought it was the right time for him to just start building his social skills, um, start interacting with kids his age, because, you know, my child is not the most social person out there. He kind of doesn't play with other kids, even when his cousins are around. He has a cousin who's six months younger than him. Um, he doesn't seem to want to play with him, so... We just thought that maybe going to school and him being around um, kids his age will help him kind of learn how to interact with with people that are his age because he likes to interact with adults but not so much with younger kids he also has challenges with communication he is you know i don't like to compare my child with other kids but he he's a little bit less communicative than i've seen kids his age are he doesn't really you know, he doesn't really communicate to us as often as, you know, you would expect a two-year-old to. We are aware that he might have a little bit of a speech delay. So we're kind of hoping that him being in school would really help kind of improve those skills. We are also taking him to speech therapy. Um, I think he's going to be starting later this week. And we're kind of hoping that um, school combined with speech therapy would really help him with um, those language and speech skills or we'll also to just help him learn some independence learn to cope without us you know because we're not always going to be there and i'm hoping that this year i could really focus also getting back into things in terms of career and all that fun stuff um and you know just be able to leave him at home and him being okay or leave him with a relative or a different type a, a different person and him being okay so i'm really hoping that him being in school kind of helps with those kind of those kind of skills. So the school that we chose is, um, I'm not gonna say the name of the school, but it's a school that we really, really feel strongly about. We are so happy with the school that we chose. Um, it's a little bit further from where we live, but it, it, it was definitely worth it because we just connected so much with the school. We connected so much with the teachers that are there. And especially the, the owner of the school who is the head teacher, and she's so warm and so dedicated and you can just tell that it's she's in her element when she starts talking about kids. And obviously we had a conversation with her about our concerns about his speech delay and she, re she was very reassuring that they will keep an eye on him and really help him. Um, you know develop those skills and also work hand in hand with the speech therapist that we're going to be using to kind of have strategies on how to help him when he's he's at school another reason why we really love the school is because Ru seemed to love the school as well we have been there I think we had been there like three two two or three times with Ru and you know he just warmed up to the teachers warmed up to to the owner of the school and he loved the space and the toys and everything and he wasn't quite the same with the other schools and i love the school as well because it's big and there's so many different activities that you can do especially with the younger kids i felt like the other schools that we we saw didn't have a lot of activities for the younger kids like the two-year-olds right the school that we chose um showed that they had like a bunch of different things that they do with these younger kids and while you know two-year-olds you can really teach them like much much but you can structure their play so that they are also learning from it and that's something that really stood out to us with that and the fact that Rue had been there a few times he was a bit familiar with that which I guess also helped with the, the first day of school that it wasn't a completely new environment um, that he had already been there and he knew kind of like where some of the things were as far as the playground and what to do when he gets there and all that fun stuff as far as how we are feeling the first week was tough especially for me because like he's been like my whole world i've been his caregiver and just spending a lot of time with him so it was very very weird those first a few days of him being in school i'm just like what do i do with my hands but yeah i love the fact that i do have some time now and um this week actually is the first week that i'm really adjusting into a new routine i'm getting into the groove of things i'm working out now and i am you know creating content and i'm hoping that this time around i can be a lot more consistent so we are coping really well now um all the 
fears and anxieties from before are all gone we have had so many conversations with the teachers at the school and they've reassured us that he's really doing really well at school and we shouldn't really worry about it um they do really really well of sending us like little videos and pictures of like what the kids are up to at a certain time every other day it's really really reassuring for parents that are nervous and all that fun stuff so we're really happy he's really happy and yeah man we're just really enjoying you know this new transition of him maybe not being around as much as he used to <laughs> so i will be making more videos um on preschool kind of like how we came to pick in the school that we picked and I will be doing, just right now, just right after I film this, I'm going to be filming a, what do I call it, a daycare essentials. So I'm just going to be doing a little series of all the preschool or daycare stuff. So definitely looking, look forward to that kind of content moving forward. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure you remember to subscribe and join our little YouTube family and hit the notification bell right next to it and i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next video bye